Find the height of the trapezoid shown below if the area equals 378.56 square units. The area formula for a trapezoid is area equals 1 half times the quantity b sub 1 plus b sub 2 times h, where b sub 1 and b sub 2 are the lengths of the two bases. In a trapezoid, the bases are the two parallel sides. So we'll call this base 1, and we'll call this base 2. Let's go ahead and label this b sub 1 and this b sub 2. And the height would be this length here. So we'll label this h. And because we know the area, we can now set up an equation using the area formula to determine the height. The area is equal to 1 half times the quantity b sub 1 plus b sub 2, which should be the quantity 26 plus 10.4, times the unknown height, and this must equal the given area of 378.56 square units. And now we need to solve the equation for h. Let's first simplify the left side of the equation. Simplifying inside the parentheses, 26 plus 10.4 equals 36.4. So we have 1 half times 36.4 times h equals 378.56. And 1 half times 36.4 is equal to half of 36.4, which equals 18.2, or we can write 36.4 as a fraction with the denominator of 1. This would give us 36.4 divided by 2 times h equals 378.56. And 36.4 divided by 2 is equal to 18.2, so we have 18.2h equals 378.56. Of course, if we need to, we can show this quotient 36.4 divided by 2, move the decimal point up into the quotient, and divide like we normally do. Notice how the divisor is already a whole number. So there's 1, 2, and 3. 1 times 2 is 2. Subtract, bring down the 6. There are 8 twos and 16. 8 times 2 is 16. Subtract, bring down the 4. And there are 2 twos and 4. 2 times 2 is 4. Subtracting, the difference is 0. Verifying the quotient is 18.2. Of course, we can verify this on the calculator as well. 36.4 divided by 2 is 18.2. And because 18.2h means 18.2 times h, to solve for h, we need to undo this multiplication by dividing both sides by 18.2. Dividing by 18.2 undoes multiplying by 18.2 and therefore the left side simplifies to h, or 18.2 divided by 18.2 is 1, 1 times h is h, and therefore h is equal to this quotient. Let's first show it by hand. So we have 378.56 divided by 18.2. Notice here the divisor is not a whole number, and therefore the first step is to move the decimal point to the right one place, so the divisor is a whole number. And we can do this as long as we do the same to the dividend. So we'll move the decimal point to the right one place here as well. And then up into the quotient, and then divide like we normally do. The first step is to determine how many 182s are in 378, which is 2. Multiplying, 2 times 2 is 4. 2 times 8 is 16. Perform an exchange. 2 times 1 is 2, plus 1 is 3. Subtracting, 8 minus 4 is 4, 7 minus 6 is 1. Bring down the next digit, which is 5. And that's how this is less than 182. So there are 0 182s and 145. 0 times 182 is 0. Subtracting, the difference is 145. Bring down the last digit. And now we need to determine how many 182s are in 1,456, and I believe that's 8. Multiplying 8 times 2 is 16, perform an exchange. 8 times 8 is 64, plus 1 is 65, perform an exchange with the 6. 8 times 1 is 8, plus 6 is 14. Notice how the difference is 0, and therefore the quotient is 20.8, and therefore h equals 20.8, which means the height of the trapezoid equals 20.8 units. 
Let's also verify this quotient on the calculator. So we have 378.56 divided by 18.2, which is 20.8. I hope you found this helpful.